deadliest catch. <laughs> Do you know what? That never gets boring. And I'm going to continue doing that. Dead or alive. Okay. You're a cowboy. Uh, let's continue game. Uh, in Jake's challenge, you can look up and down to adjust your aim. Okay. That's good to know. So we left off. I think we went back to harbour, didn't we? Uh, to pick up uh, Roxanne. Roxanne. Um, so let's... Uh, Go back out to sea. There we are. No, we're not. Where are we? There we are. We've got the ice belt coming down, so we need to move pretty quick. So let's get down to sort of this area. And uh, how long have these been soaking for? That's not quite long enough. Um, we got any more pots on? No, we've got no pots. So I guess we're just going to chill out and relax here for a bit. We want to get at least 24 hours. Oh, my dog's barking. Um. <laughs> I'm just going to pause the game. I'll be back in a second. And I'm back. Yeah, the dog was barking at uh, a fly on the wall. Um, so we're going to continue the time. There we go. And we just need to line ourselves up, really. Okay, so we turn on, autopilot's already turned on, which is great, bit of speed, go on then lazy bones, time for work, get your butts out of bed, the stockfish, got a picture of a crab, haven't noticed that before, as a whale, having a whale of a time, I think I said that before. Okay. Whoa. What? The crane cable just snapped. <laughs> Ignore it. No. Uh, okay. Well, that screwed my plans a little bit. You just stop there. need to wait for the crane. Do we need the crane? No, we don't really need the crane, do we? No. Let's go without the crane. I want to move over just a tad. A little bit closer. There we go. Can you actually see him fixing the crane? Then? Oh yeah! Oh wow! Look, he's um using a blowtorch or something. I thought the cable snapped. That's ah, still pretty cool. I like that. Ready? Probably need to adjust my. Where where is everybody? Ah, uh, maybe we can't lift pots in until the crane's done. Ah. I guess we just have to wait for three and a half hours. Okay, it's fixed. It didn't look fixed, it looked on fire. Go on then, crew. Let's, uh. There we go, they're coming out now. Alright, I just need to adjust you. your course. Like that. Throw the hook then. Come on, you can do it. It's just there. That's it, what it? Oh. There's a ship over there. That looks like the uh, Great Western. Is it the Great Western? Sig's boat. 
There's no crab in there. Uh, unless we're on, we're on a pilio, aren't we? So is this a good pot or a bad pot? I don't know. You have six crab. Is that good or bad? Let me know. What? I've got 563 <laughs> keepers. What? Uh, wow. Well, we're going to set back. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot to engage. Dope. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back round. You know, there's no point in fishing in an area that's been hammered with gear and pots. A lot of times the averages, even if the area is hot, will decrease because every time you're pulling pots, your averages tend to go down. You're better off finding fresh area and fresh ground so that you can get a decent average on your own. So what? 563 isn't very good. I set it back in the wrong place. Oh, this is going peak tong. Okay. Nope. Get away! I don't want the bots. Oh gosh. Ah. Oh. Ah, it's because I was on fast time. There we go. We should be ready now to pick up that pot. If you hired me to cook, I should probably go... Go cook. Who's on the... Uh... Can you make that? Come on, you can make that. Throw the hook. Throw it. Throw it like you mean it. That's it. Go on. Yes. Great hook throw. Right, we're back on track now. We'll forget about that one. Oh, this looks like a better pot. Yeah, that pot looks full. 563. Wow. I just want to get closer. A little bit closer. How many? Come on. A thousand. <laughs> 572. Yeah, we're set back on those numbers. Whoa. Yeah, I know. Whoa. And there's our six saying, uh, you know, if it's not very good, move on. I'm not moving on those numbers. We are on the crab. Okay. That was pathetic. Throw it again. Much better. Wow. It'd be nice to break into the 600s. Yeah, they were really happy. Obviously, apart from Norman. Norman's ne never happy. Um, Roxanne's not happy cooking. Tough. She's uh, done us a bit of bait, so we've got thir 13 bait there. Yeah, that looks a good pot as well. 643! Wow! We're on the money! Go big or go home! Hell yeah, Roxanne! That's uh. That's a, that's a lot of crab. Look, we're like six percent done already. We've only done three pots. Is that somebody else's pots? Oh, no. yeah, they're fishing our grains. Yeah, 
Yeah, the pots look a bit skew-if, but uh, <laughs> we'll deal with that on the next run. We've got to set back on those sort of numbers, haven't we? I know they're being fished there, but... Wow. We were here first. Time to feed! Okay. I'm not stopping yet, though. <laughs> you can eat on the go. Back to making bait, Roxanne. 649, yes. That's some good numbers right there. What time is it? It's uh, 20 past 1 in the afternoon. Oh, good throw. Whoever that is in the blue. He's got a cracking arm on him. There we go. I think uh, Deadliest Catch is uh, finished for the season uh, here in the UK. Literally just finished, I think, last week. So uh, I hope they got season 10. Basically, they, they've shown a program uh, like behind the scenes of Deadliest Catch. And... Uh, you wouldn't believe how many cameras are in, like, in here. There's, like, literally cameras everywhere. 653. Awesome. There's, like, cameras everywhere. Wires, and it just looks a right mess. But, um... But, yeah, it was showing, like, uh... How the captains get on with the, um... With the Discovery Team's camera crew, and, uh... Yeah, there's one person on there I'm not quite sure of, and that's Keith at the Wizard. I, I, I don't know. Uh, he's, um... I can imagine he's a hard man to work with. He's probably a really nice guy, but I wouldn't like to work with him, I don't think. And uh, I feel sorry for the brothers, you know, the Time Bandit. Yeah, they, they've had a bit of bad luck. Um, cost a lot of money. And their main guy is, um... He's left. He's uh, expecting hey twins. Guys, having any luck finding crabs in your spot? Oh, Phil, I like you. Um, it's okay. Thanks. That's okay. Um, if it was anybody else, I'd probably yeah, probably lie. Six hundred fifty-five. Yes, please. Uh, yeah. So the main guy left. Time Bandit. You know their uh, deckhand. One of their main deckhands. Is it Deck Boss? I think. And uh, they're a bit gutted about that, but um, what they've done is they forced uh, Josh. They said to Josh, "Right, time to be a man. Get off my boat and uh, run your own boat." So, so season ten of Deadliest Catch, we should see uh, Josh having his own boat. The Cornelia Marie will make a return. That'd be quite cool. Right, I need to move this way now. So, uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing that. Wow, we're going to be full, I think. We're going to have to unload um, after this uh, string. We're already like 16.3% full. Wow, these are great numbers. Fantastic numbers. Everyone's like ecstatic, obviously apart from Norman and Buster, but the Josh is like, wow, Jake's wow, Roxanne's like, yeah. I like cooking. Wow, what a hook throw. Well done. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe I'm getting too close to these to these um boys. And that's why they're missing their throw. You see, like, this guy in the blue hasn't missed a throw all day. But, uh, yeah, we're on the crab. There's no denying it. Well, there's a lot... Seems to be a lot of ice build-up as well, I've just noticed. Well... 19%. Wow. This is awesome, guys. We're going to fill this boat out in no time. Yep, 
Yeah, we'll, we'll have that. It's not 600, but 570 is not bad. I think we're probably averaging around about 600 a pot at the moment. I hope we don't sink because there's the ice build up. We should be okay. Oh, what? Oh, you made it out with that throw. Couldn't believe that. Guy in the blue missed the pot. Right. We haven't missed any, have we? We got that one there. It's soak time 23 hours. We'll have to go pick that one up after. These are all had 48, as you can see, 49. So they've had a really long, long soak. Seems like it pays off, you know. Keep them in the water. That's where the uh, that's where the crab are. They're no good on the deck. That's a nice full pot there. Come on and load it. All right, let's get you back on. Okay. Deckhand for the time being. We've got enough uh, crab. Uh, bait. 629. Yes, please. Thank you. I bet it's cold out right there. Go big or go home. Hell oh, yeah. I've been watching the um, Amish Mafia Wars as well. That That's. Uh, has anybody else been watching that? I, I don't know what to think of it, to be honest. Um. It's so different to what people in the UK are like. I think it's it's hard to uh, to make a judgment on it because we got no idea. <laughs> um, it's just so different. So I'm gonna kind of revert reserve my uh, my judgment. We should be lining up for those pots there. Good. Unfortunately, I think they finished the season just as I was getting into it. So uh, you got is it Levi and oh, I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, Merlin, there you go, Levi and Merlin. But uh, yeah, let's let us know your thoughts on that. Let's see what you guys think. I don't know if anybody else has been watching it. I do tend to watch everything that comes off the Discovery Channel, to be honest. Uh, even um, Meteorite Men, I've been watching that. That's um, yeah, that gets boring pretty quick. But I watch it. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. 628. Brilliant. Whoa! Yeah, I know. No, Norman Zaffy. Wow. I think it was taking ages to get to that next boy. Right, run the home straight. I've probably put that a little bit too close to that one, but... No worries. 25.7% and we d we're literally on the on our first string which is brilliant okay pots coming up I love the little moves that you know like when they're waiting around you can see them like stretching and keeping warm and stuff it's like that's a, that's a nice touch. That is a hell of a throw. He nearly took out his seagull then. Whoa. Come on, Flower. One more time. One more time. You could do it. Yes. <sighs> yeah, well done. That was a pretty big throw. I mean, let's get, let's get a bit closer. Get closer, get closer. There we go. So interesting to see how, like, we could be like half full by the time we finish this uh, string off. I wonder how long's left of the season. Uh, crab count, fleet total, quota. Okay. 100, yeah, we've got, we got a while to go yet. We've probably got one more string. It's normally, uh, 
sort of two strings and that's the season. Like, I had a lot of people saying, why are you putting the pots, you know, in the previous episodes, why are you uh, putting the pots on the deck? You've still got plenty of time in the season. But if you leave your pots in the water when it comes to the end of the season, you get um, you do get fined quite a bit. So it's probably worth pulling your pots a little bit early and uh, getting into port early. 535, yeah, we're set back. So, uh, I'm a bit far from the boy. I don't know if Mr. Blue can get that. He should be able to get that. Come on. You could do it. Put your back into it. Yeah. So how many uh, pots we got left to go? Yeah, we've got a few pots. Yeah, we've got a few to go. We should, we might make half full, you know. That would be amazing. Let's just get a little bit closer. Do, do, do. See, I, was, I don't understand that. Like, he stood out there just stretching. The guy's on the hydraulics. And he's the one who has to get up just to... Well, they're not that tired at the moment. We've only had a... Hey, how's the fishing over there? Are you getting any? Oh, see, I like Sig as well. Oh. Oh, I'm going to say there's none. Because I don't want another... No, sorry. Yeah, roger that. Sounds good. Okay. Sorry to lie to you, Sig, there, but... uh this is our fishing grains, you know. We can't be seen to uh, to play favourite, but you know, Phil and the Keneally Marie. We don't want to help in there, mate, but there is a limit to my generosity. <laughs> That's a terrible throw. My nan could throw faster than that. That's a better throw. Oh wow, that was a really good throw. Okay, yeah, so Deadly Sketch finished for season nine. Looking forward to season ten, that should be fun. Do you know what? In season nine they had like people under the water, uh, with a camera waiting for um the the ships to pass over them underwater. And uh, apparently it's like really, really, really dangerous because the currents and stuff. I don't need like having a, having a ship go above you uh, can't be good. But uh, it's nice to see that they're uh, putting the stops out and you know doing stuff differently. And also, um, is it Freddy on now the wizard? Yes, we are, Buster. Is it Freddy on the wizard? There was uh, a walrus that uh, got washed up. Uh, it was floating. Um, it was dead and you know full of gas. So it floats to the top. When the gas releases, it goes back down to the bottom. Now, uh, apparently, one of the guys on board likes walrus tusks and they sell for a lot of money. So uh, they are trying to hook this uh, walrus and um, they wasn't having none of it because it was so gassed up. pressure inside it was so huge that they couldn't physically... Uh, Get a hook on the uh, on the walrus. So uh, this crazy dude, Freddy, in the wizard, he only uh, jumps in <laughs> into the like freezing ice cold water to try and hook this uh, walrus. You know, wow. And he went, yeah, it's a bit cold. You think, Jesus, you know, ice cold water. Like the ice front is literally not that far away. You know from freezing the sea. Do you know how cold it's got to be to freeze the sea? You know, how much salt's in the sea? So, uh, yeah, that's proper nuts. That's why we watch it, isn't it? The good thing about the program is that we'd rather see other people do that than, than us. Yes, money. So, uh, Yeah.
Yeah, there's no way we can uh, not fish these grains, put in like these numbers. Okay. Uh, there, Buster's a little bit tired. I think Buster's the one on the hook, to be honest. Come on, Flower, one more. Well done. I just want to level that out a little bit there. Thirty-seven. No, nah, I don't think we're going to make fifty-one. Uh, fifty percent. I don't think, but we are going to be close. And we're only 60 hours into the season as well. I'm just thinking, with the time spending, you know, we want the pots in the in the water as long as possible. Is it worth going to port and selling our catch, and then coming back out ready to uh, fish again? I don't I don't know. We'll have to see. Wow. That's some good fish in there. 663. Oh, the lights are on. Ah, I've got to download that patch again. Because I had to restart my computer. This is going to seem quite dark on the deck. Until I uh, download the patch. Throw the hook. Well done. Yes. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna hit. Uh, I don't think we're gonna hit fifty percent. <coughs> it might hit forty-five. That'd be quite nice. But these peeps have been working really, really hard. We will get this string done, I think, before anybody faints. Buster might need to uh, go and rest in a minute. I can't have him injured because uh, that would really screw me over. Oh, that's a good part, doesn't it? Come on, 600s. Yeah, 670. Wow. That's some good fishing right there. Go big or go home. You got it, girl. You go, girlfriend. <laughs> God, I haven't said that for years. Not that I used to say it a lot anyway. <laughs> um. Right. 40.7 should make 41 percent that was a terrible throw that's probably the worst throw you've done all uh, all season oh my gosh and again come on it's because he's tired isn't it yeah I need to rest Buster I think really That's better. What you got the first time, eh? <coughs> if you offer a break, I'll take it. Uh yeah, go take a break, mate. I don't want you injured. You've done well on the hook. Well, what's going on? Did he literally just take a break halfway through that pot? Wow. So he like hooked it and then like just dropped the the line to have a break. I'll have words with him later. Yeah, everybody else seems uh, all fired up, ready to rock and roll. <coughs> Come on, it's just gonna be a seven hundred. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <coughs> Finish on a seven hundred pot. Six six three. We we'll set that back. Did Buster just tell me it was six six three from his bed? Poor Buster. Yeah, these are quite heavily fish grains we're on at the moment, but why wow, these numbers are awesome. We are going to fill this boat. Oh god. I'm falling asleep at the rail. Don't worry, Jake, you got plenty of energy. 
Don't lie to me. <clears throat> a couple more pops, pots and we're done. There we go. What a flower. So I think they started about, what, 12 o'clock and it's 8. They're not doing that many hours, you know. Seven or eight hour shift. Yeah, I, I work longer than that myself. So uh, these guys can handle it. Okay, we should. We might hit fifty. I. I uh, we might hit fifty. That'd be great if we do. Set back. Thanks, Buster, <laughs> for uh, for letting me know in your sleep. How many have you got? I say good he is. Look, you can count in his sleep. <laughs> Getting kind of sleepy, man. I oh, know, Josh. Just hang in there, buddy. Just think of the money. We got one, two, three, four, five, five pots to go. We're okay. Look, I'm staying up as well. It's not just you. We do need to hit a bit of ice off this, uh, off the boat, just before bed. Did he get that then? No. There we go. What then? It'd be nice to get a 700, wouldn't it? Okay, we're on 47 percent, and we still got. Yeah, we're gonna hit 50 easy. We've half filled the boat on one string, which means that we'll have to go back to port and sell it. So we'll do that as well. This episode, finish this string, go back to port, see how much money we get. I'm not going to fill out any more pots because, um, well, because we're coming towards the end of the season fairly soon and uh, we won't be able to get more on the boat without sinking. And uh, sinking in the Bering Sea is uh, is frowned upon. Six five two. Let's we'll set that back. Set it back. Set it back. Yeah, we've got enough bait to see us through this string, so uh, don't need to worry about that. Roxanne is working a treat. She hasn't fell over. She hasn't hurt herself. You know, Bert. Bert was Bert, wasn't he? You know, nice guy, but. Uh, a bit accident prone for my liking. And this guy is terrible on the hook. I think it's Jake. It's because he's tired as well, I think. Oh, then Jake. Um, yeah, we'll just carry on the way we're carrying on. Nearly finished, peeps. Yeah, 49.4. We've still got. Why wow, this is going to be overflow because they can't put it away quick enough. We have, we're putting too much crab on the boat. <laughs> what a position to be in, eh? I'm not hearing him complain. Yeah, they're all getting quite tired now. Okay, Buster. That helped. Come on. Wow. Yep, set back. Whoa! Yeah, I know Norman. Oh, poor Norman. Norman's never happy. He's our engineer. Josh is the medic. Roxanne the cook. Where are you, Buster? Come on. There you are. Good. Get back on that hook. Did he miss it? Buster. Thank you. I think we've only got one more, peeps. So don't. No. Two more to go. Two more. 
That's a lot of crap. So 60 hours into the season, how, how are we doing here? We got our crab count is nearly a hundred thousand. Wow, and the fleet total is only four hundred thousand. So we've caught what's that? A fourth of uh, all the crab out there that the fleet's caught. That's brilliant. We are on a roll, peeps. This is going to make us so much money. And we've got a really good, really good crew as well. I don't want to lose anybody. Yeah, there's me worried about not hitting the 50% uh, mark, and we've uh, we smashed it now. We should be getting on to about 60. One string, and we filled the boat up. Wow. Wow, 60% filled. Come on, peeps, hang in there. I know you're all tired. Not long to go. we got one, two, two more pots. And we're done. You can do it. Did you miss? Buster, get on the rail. Come on. Well, the longer you take to put that pot in, the, the longer you're going to be uh, stuck out here for. Throw the hook and catch between the two boys. Go on, you could do it. Wow, are you trying to miss on purpose? Well, you're going to stay there until you do it. I am not moving this boat. No one's going to sleep until you hit that pot. Thank you. Unbelievable. Just nobody, nobody injure yourself, because I'll have to replace you when we go back to port in a minute. Yeah, Jake's really tired. Hey, you? what's going on? I'm not going to complain. Yeah, go take a break. Go on. It's too dark. I can't see how full that pot is. One more pot after this, peeps, and then we're done. I promise. Yep, looks a good pot. 6.05. We'll have that all day long. Thank you. Okay, Buster, I want you on the rail. Let's just do this first time. Okay, we're dropping the pot. Alright, the next boo is coming up. Oh, somebody else is trying to throw. I think that's Josh. Oh, great throw. Yeah, we'll have that. Spot on. Last pot, last pot. Nobody injure yourself. Go on, let's get over this 60% mark. That'd be great. Yeah, I certainly do work my crew hard. But, you know, work hard, you play hard. We've caught more than uh, pretty much the whole fleet at this uh, point in time. I think we left the uh, left the pots in the water for about 48 hours, so uh, we're trying to do the same again because we're nowhere near our uh, our fleet quota yet. Yeah, we're set back. Where's the other pot? Yeah. There it is, I think. Can hardly see it so dark. Great stuff. Once you've done the sorting, you can all. Uh, that's it. Help sort. Fifty-eight point nine, fifty-nine. 
We might do it, you know, we might do it. We might fill it to 60%. That's a lot of crab we've caught in one string. Yes, 60% full. Yeah, don't worry about the ice building up. We're going back to port now. We're not going to sink, I don't think. Famous last words. <laughs> yeah, you can help sort as well. Fantastic. Sorted. Go to bed. Right, we are going there to unload our goodies. What are these? Yeah, we know about that one. 14 hours. Yeah, I think this is the right thing to do. Let's dock. <coughs> okay. Let's uh, fill up on bait. Bit of fuel. Sell our catch. Wow. Wow, look at this maneuver. Okay, brilliant. Let's uh, purchase that then. There we go. Peeps, my name is Soccer Gloss. This is Deadliest Catch Alaskan Storm. And I'll be with you to uh, next time. Have another string, hopefully, fill the boat up 60% again. And we'll have a very, very good season. So uh, take care and ciao for now.